lit up. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have got a great one for you today. I have been waiting a long time to do this video, um, making sure that everything is going to go as planned, but of course, nothing goes to plan. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you overvolted a bandit? I mean, not, not a little bit, but I mean really overvolted, like 77,000 RPMs on a motor that shouldn't be running on anything but 3S. We're gonna find out today. I had a 2200 kV motor with the absolute maxed out gearing that I could have on a stock transmission. The purpose of this build was to keep it as stock looking as we could and run it on 6S. So with that transmission box, I was maxed out on my gearing. I couldn't break 60 miles an hour and we couldn't have that. So I tried to do plastic gears and those plastic gears were just shredding. They weren't uh, holding up uh, a bit. I have a, a box full of them. So this is what I elected to do. I didn't see any videos on YouTube about overvolting a 3S motor to that extent. I've seen 3S on 4S and so on and so forth, but nothing quite like this. So hopefully we'll get a, sh a good show out of it today, guys, and hopefully it's not gonna end up in a fire. We have a 150 amp uh, Hobby Wing ESC. We are running on 22.2 volt 6S. Uh, we have got some new um, front tires on here. I'm very excited about using these. You can see we got some weight up front. Um, we are running on a 3500 kV motor, which equals out to 77,700 RPM. So let's see if this build can hold up to it. Let's see what kind of speed we'll get out of it. We'll get it buttoned up and ready to run. Looks like we're all ready for our speed run. Are you guys ready for this? I am. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's just see if it's working here. All right, it is working. All right, let's see what we'll do, guys. Crazy speeds I'm expecting out of this one. Let's just double check and make sure we are getting a good reading. Making sure our steering is set up good. Guys, if you're new to the hobby and you don't know what overvolting means, most typical 1.8 scale all the way up to 1.6 uh, scale motors typically can't handle over 50,000 RPMs. That is the maximum. You start going over that, you start doing some serious damage to your motor. So because this is such a lightweight rig, it's two wheel drive, I'm curious to see if we're going to do some serious damage to this rig running 77,000 RPM. So let's see what we'll do. nicely really liking those J concept wheels okay all right looks okay let's see what kind of speed we got Sixty miles an hour. Okay, we're working our way up. We didn't get to uh, full throttle or anywhere near it, but let's uh, let's take a second run. All right. What a vicious little toy! This bandit on six S, three S is amazing. Six S, it's crazy. Over vaulted on 6S. Oh my gosh, I am sure 
Once we get this thing to full throttle, we will be amazed for putting out a fire. got two good runs. I want to get a temperature on that motor in ESC. Let's see what we got for speed here. Stop. 62! Alright, we're working our way up. Building up confidence. Alright, let's take a quick temperature read. Hundred and seventeen on the motor. One hundred and seven on the ESC. Now you guys can see that this is well ventilated. We have fans all throughout. We have double fans on the motor back here. Take it for a third run, see if we can work our way up. If you're curious about that wheelie bar on the back, those are airplane wheels foams. They'll handle the speed. Easy to flip another size on there in case you guys want to do some off-road bashing. That's the beauty of this. You guys can take the wheels off, put another set on, and you're off-road. All right, let's see. Full throttle. Just for a second, I tapped full throttle. The ESC seems to be holding up to the RPM. I gotta say, I'm a little shocked. Where's all my uh, Dean's connector guys saying there's gonna be a fire? <laughs> Let's see what it got. 63, all right. We're still work, working our way up. Uh, really hope we're not reaching the top with a 3,500 kV motor, but maybe we just need some more runway. Maybe it needs a little bit more room to breathe. Maybe I need a better receiver so I can get a little bit more distance. I've heard good things about the, uh, is it the Dunbar radio? I'm not sure. I like tactic. Just, just as we get to our limit on our range, yeah, this is gonna have to be changed out. All right, let's see. Will it hold up? Let's get it going straight and light the tires. Remember guys, you're not just creating heat and friction when you're accelerating, but also when you're braking. So take that into consideration. What a monster this thing is. And it looks stock. Guys, how much of a sleeper is that? Wow. 63, <laughs> it looks like that is our maximum all right let's give it one more try uh, and then we'll do our temperatures and see uh, what we see all right one more try bandit I would say don't try this at home but try this at home it's a lot of fun not only with the Traxxas bandit but 6S. There we go, guys. Lit up. to back runs over vaulting 
Will this motor hold up? This is a 3S motor, guys. 3,500 kV running 6S on 150 amp hobby wing. <laughs> what a beast, guys. Let's see what it got. 62, it looks like we're just topped out there. But more importantly, guys, let's get the temperatures, okay? Uh, that is part of what we wanted to see is, are we destroying this motor in ESC? Let's get the temps. All right, our ESC is 127 is the highest I got. 126, 144. Oh, okay. Battery looks like 108. Let's see what the motor is getting. 101, 127, 141 at the bearing. That's pretty hot to the touch, but still 140 degrees is acceptable. As long as we're not getting over that 150 mark. Let's check the ESC again, 133. Not bad, guys. We've got extra fans in here all around. You guys saw it today, 77,000 RPM with this 3S Hobby Wing Special, Surpass Hobby. Loads of fun. This is so much fun, guys. It is lightweight enough to handle all that. Oh, wow, the tires are hot. 110 degrees on the tires. Wow. So much fun, guys. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Radioactive RC Ranch, and we'll see you, Radioheads, on the next one.